this is it? After Rome and Moscow, I was expecting something a little more... upscale. Maybe you should unwind after the flight. Maybe take a shower. That might be more tempting if you were here. That might have to wait until we aren't fugitives from our own government. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. Are you sure about this? Positive. Trust me. Okay. See? What did I tell you? This. This is why I love you. You can send roses to my dead drop in Prague. Now that you've made it to Taipei, what are your plans? I sort of figured I'd improvise. I'll put an ear to the ground and see what I can find out. Don't you think you need a little more focus than that? I've got three leads to start with. This Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I've checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. I think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. Isn't that why you love me? You watch yourself out there, Mr. Thornton. Always. In a sec, buddy. Not too uncomfortable, I hope. Now this, this is dry cleaning solution. Active ingredient is perchloroethylene. Get stains out like a champ. Like a champ when, believe you me. Steve Heck, I'm here on business. Agency. Sure, sure, business. be right with you. Oh, and you call me Steve again. Cut your thumbs off at Cigar Flippers, okay? So you remember where they are now, do you? Candy. Ah, that does it, Wen. You know I don't like sweet... Oh, the candy dish! That's right! That's where I left my keys. Should have said something earlier, Wen. You see what I almost made you drink? <laughs> Good old Wen. Always getting into antics. Anywho, what can I do you for? I got a line on somebody aiming to assassinate President Sung. I was hoping you might be able to help me with that. You came to the right place, and you're lucky you did. See, people come in and out of Taipei all the time without asking for clearance, so then I have to erase them so they don't expose me. I wasn't aware you had jurisdiction here. What are you trying to hide, exactly? My secret identity and everything I know, that's what. Listen, did you know that in the 1960s, the CIA surgically jammed a mic and antenna into a cat for an op codenamed Acoustic Kitty? No, I've never heard that. Have you heard of anything relevant to my previous question? Oh, it's relevant. Just between you and me. And when. You're with the agency, am I right? That's not what I'm here to discuss. Do you know anything or not? Me? <laughs> Do I know something? That's a gas is what that is. You're wasting my time, Heck. Steven, relax. You came to the right place. Yeah, I work for a division of the CIA that doesn't officially exist. Super secret. They just kind of turned me loose and let me go nuts. Uh-huh. So, can you help me or not? Depends. How do I know you are who you say you are? I have to ask because, funny story, one time a salesman came in and I thought he was buying secrets about the German Chancellor's security detail. You don't hear about guys like me. Now, unless you'd like to end up like your friend here, I'd suggest answering my question. Okay, no need for violence. I'm a level-headed operator. Right, when? Then let's hear it. So, Ronald's son, huh? Hey, do you ever notice his name's an anagram for lard on guns? Ironic, isn't it? Are you clinically incapable of getting to the point? All right, maybe not relevant to your case, I get it. Ronnie's son, Ronnie's son. What do you want to know, Mike? Personal demons, pants size, political capital, sexual proclivities? Hmm? Do I have to tie you to a chair and pour bleach down your throat to get you to make sense? I need to know who wants Sung dead. Dry cleaning solution, Mike. Bleach is too messy. 
Political assassinations. Yeah, those are fun. One time I took out an entire soccer stadium just to kill the premier of Namidia. Hey, did you know at 400 miles an hour, soccer balls can decapitate people? I didn't. But, Sung? Sure, sure. I can tell you this, Mike. There's a big conference coming up at the Grand Hotel. Sun's gonna be there, along with a few dozen EU bigwigs and the like. So you're suggesting I infiltrate the hotel. Why? Taiwanese National Security Bureau is providing the security. You think those cats don't just have oodles of stuff on everybody who might want their boss dead? Hmm. Wouldn't be too hard to slip in and borrow some of that information. I knew that would appeal to you, Mike. Hey, give me a call when you head that away. I'd like to be in on this. You got it. Is this Scarlet? This is... Mike. From the plane, right? You remember. You didn't give me a reason to forget. Heard you were in Taipei. Thought I'd call. So, it takes me coming to Taipei for you to get back to me? About your offer of exchanging information. I remember. Do you have something? I'm here in town trying to find out all I can about President Sung in the upcoming rally. Sung? Why? Is there something wrong? His life is in danger. Why do you think that? I have an inside source. He's a target, and I need to warn him. I don't have a lot of friends here in Taipei, and certainly not ones with press credentials who can move freely. Can you help me? What did you have in mind? A little covert operation, if you're up for it. I might be. I'd need the details first. I'll fire them over, along with the location to meet up. All right, then. Talk to you soon, Mike. Everybody online? In position in the lobby. In position to rain death on my enemies. We need the NSB's threat analysis. What we don't need is to be added to their list. I want minimal confrontation and no civilian casualties. What are you expecting me to do, Mike? Bludgeon a wandering guard to death with a camera? Actually, that last part was mostly for Steven. Anybody ever tell you you're a real wet blanket, Mike? Steven, you're with me. There will be a map of the conference in the security office. You're going to be my distraction. Can do, Mike. Would you prefer a hot distraction or a loud distraction? What's the difference? Hot distractions have more fire. No casualties, Stephen. Especially not civilians. Are we clear? Yeah, sure. No bodies. Scarlet, I need you to stay in the lobby for now. Hang out in the bar, see if you can find me a lonely convention attendee. And do what with him, exactly? Talk him up. Find out something useful. Use some of those ace reporter skills I hear so much about. I... sure, Mike. Should be a piece of cake for you. I'll call you as soon as I have anything. What about me? You stay in touch with everybody. Keep us all up to date on what's going on. Can you get into the security system? Already done. Okay, everybody knows the score? Then let's move out. Remember, people, this is our one chance to get this intel. Let's do it right. Good luck, Thornton Out. Here you go, Mike. You're the best. I ever tell you that? Not often enough, I think. Thanks, Scarlet. I'll be seeing you, Mike. Okay, I'm at the elevator. You sure this will get me out? Positive. The elevator leads to those Mike, access tunnels. Just... You can slip out before the authorities know you're gone. Got it. Hey, you Mike. It's Steven. Steven Hack. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see you. I can see you too, Mike. Okay. What's on your mind, Heck? Steven, anywho, just wanted to drop you a line and find out if all that killing I didn't do was worth your while. You get what you needed? Not entirely. We've got the transponder codes for the bug the NSB planted. But without knowing when and where to look for it, that's only half the puzzle. Ah, oh, chin up, Mike. Just do what I do when my cases hit a wall. Get yourself a good pair of cigar clippers and a healthy supply of thumbs. Well, hey, progress is progress, like my dear old granny used to say, the crazy commie brat. Anywho, you figure things out and find yourself in need of some mayhem. You know who to call. Thanks. I'll be in touch. I'm here to see the Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik.
Hong Shur. My name is Michael Thornton. I think you have information I need. I know many things. Most of them would be useful to someone, I'm sure. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an American cowboy. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. Someone is planning to assassinate Ronald's son. You've been receiving transfers of funds from Shahid. I'd be willing to pay to see if these two facts are connected. Hmm, interesting. I admire a man who presents a business proposal clearly and succinctly. Mr. Thornton, a man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. Uh, some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. Now, if you were to discourage them, I will tell you what I know. You don't even know me. Why trust me with something like this? Why not use your own people? My own people are known to these rogues. You, on the other hand, look enough like an ignorant white old tourist that they might only mug you. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Hong. I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. Yeah? Don't call me Mr. Hong. Okay, I'm not far from the market. The I'm picking up some activity near your position. I don't think Hong sure gave us the whole story. The head of an organized crime syndicate not telling the truth? Gee, that's a stretch. Stretch or not, it looks like you're going to see some heavier resistance up ahead. is already humming with talk of your assault on the slums. Everything's taken care of. But next time, tell me your lieutenant's defected because you killed one of them as a warning. I did not feel you needed to know this, Mr. Thornton. Nor do my men. I trust I can rely on your discretion. Shahid was sending you large sums of money. What was it for? A man in my position has access to certain materials, Mr. Thornton. Materials that a man in Shahid's position finds very valuable. We had a long-standing business arrangement. You've already got the international smuggling contacts. You could secure shipments to just about anywhere an al Samad cell operates. Very astute, Mr. Thornton. You would do very well in this business. I did not sell weapons to Shahid directly. I was merely a facilitator. And how does that put you in a position to know about an attempt on Sun's life? I'm willing to provide my information, not my sources. Fair enough. Let's see it. As promised, Mr. Thornton. Here is all the information I have regarding this unfortunate business with Mr. Sun. A pleasure doing business with you. And with you, Mr. Thornton. Oh, there is one other thing. Beware of the man called Omen Dang. I've heard that name before. Sounds like there's a definite connection. Dang is a powerful man in Taipei, Mr. Thornton. You would be wise not to antagonize him. I'll keep my ears open. Thanks. I'm sending you the data I got from Hong Shur now. Receiving. Got it. Anything? According to this, the White Oak Mountain Triad was approached to provide security for a diplomatic exchange at a subway station on the Xingmei Line tomorrow night. Nobody hires Triad gangsters to provide security for a diplomatic exchange. Any hint what was really going on? Hong Shur's lieutenants dug into the guy's background. Turns out, he was an NSV deep cover operative. After some persuasion, he let slip that he was working undercover to foil a major political assassination. Persuasion? Do I want to know? You really don't. Well, that's it then. 
We've got the tracking codes for the NSB bug, and now we know where to point the satellite. We can track them down and intercept the package, whatever it is. I'm already patching into the satellite network. Whenever you're ready to go, I'll be online. Great. See you in the field. G-22? What are they doing here? What the hell's up with my PDA? Uh-oh. Albatross. It's been a while since Moscow. I didn't realize there was a G-22 cell here. That means we've done our job, Agent Thornton. The question is, what were you doing here in the first place? What's it to you, Albatross? I was just checking a lead. I didn't expect to run into your glorified IT guys. You've placed monitoring software on our servers. I want you to shut it down. I almost didn't realize what you'd done until it was too late. You can be quite silent when need be. I wasn't expecting to find G-22 here, but they sure didn't make me feel welcome when I arrived. Now you want me to do you a favor, right? Eavesdropping on our servers won't help you. I'm guessing you're looking for an Al Samad and Halbeck connection. So, you're working with both. I should have known. We've been monitoring both Al Samad and Halbeck, but are affiliated with neither. I'm afraid you'll have to take me at my word, Agent Thornton. I believe you. You've never struck me as a zealot. Or a capitalist. You are correct. And that data in our servers, well, let's just say it would be of little use to you. Disable your monitoring software, and I will compensate you. I know why you're here. I can help you. Refuse, and you'll find you have few friends here in Taipei. Well, I'm surprised you found all the programs. Guess I wasn't as careful as I thought. It took a while to place all of them. Yes, the fifth was a tricky one. But by then, we knew what to look for. I'll delete those security exploits. They were a little obvious without some sort of backup. In exchange for removing them, I could use your help. This operation is turning out to be larger than I expected. Thank you, Mike. And as for your mission, let us say that G-22 has no interest in seeing President Song placed in jeopardy. So, you have been eavesdropping on Al Samad and Halbeck. Yes. Halbeck underestimated Shahid. The man was no fool. But even G-22 hasn't been able to determine how Halbeck intends to pull off the assassination. Or who the assassin is. I'd rather not wait until Song is shot to find out. That help you mentioned. G-22 will be in contact, Mike. And thank you. You'll never guess who I just got a call from. Who? Our favorite seabird. The one who has the tendency to hang around mute teenage girls. Albatross? I didn't know G-22 had a presence in Taipei. Yeah, it was a shock for me too. I'm guessing he didn't call to chat. What did he want? He wanted my bugs shut down. He was good. He found all five bugs in just a couple of hours. All five? I planted six. Very devious, Mr. Thornton. Well, I have my moments. So, what do we got? This is a gold mine, Mike. Major players operating in Taipei. Political and economic trends, activist groups. It's going to take a while to sort through all this. Start with anything relevant to the assassination. It looks like the network was part of the shadow net G-22 uses to monitor global intelligence services. I ran a search for the keywords, Ronald Sung and assassination, and got a hit. Anything we can run with? I've got an email intercept indicating that the assassin will be receiving the details of the assignment tomorrow night at the subway station on the Xingmei line. Perfect. Now that we've got the location and the tracker's frequency... We can direct a keyhole satellite to the subway station and track the package right to the handoff. We're really good, aren't we? We really kinda are. Yeah. Anything else I might find useful? I'm still downloading, but I'm going to say yes. That network has terabytes worth of data. I'll keep you updated via email as I sort through all this. Sounds good. I'll be in touch when I'm ready to move forward. Take care, Mike. Mike, Bobola, what's the shakes? Any more antics on the horizon? Bad guys need thwomping, Liberty need protecting, adorable aliens need rescuing from sinister government labs. Steven, hey, 
Uh, just calling to let you know I've got all the intel I need to intercept this package on the assassination. The exchange goes down tonight at the Xingmei subway station. Thanks for the heads up, Mike. I'll make sure I disable all those surprise audio mines I've got scattered around the city's subway system. You don't really have those, do you? If I told you that, there wouldn't be a surprise, would there? Plus, I'd have to staple your tongue to the roof of your mouth to keep you from telling anybody. Operational security, nothing personal. Right. Well, anyways, I thought you should know, since Taipei is sort of your turf and all. I appreciate that, Mike. You've always been a stand-up guy, you know that? Not like when. No, sir. Not like when at all. You know, there could be a lot of bad guys down there. If you wanted to help me take them out, well, I wouldn't say no. Really? You mean it? Oh, Mike, you don't know how much that means to me. So you'll do it? Will I do it? Damn right I will. You just go do your thing. I think you're gonna like the surprise I got cooked up. Why do I get the feeling you've planned this? Because I have, Mike. Right. Okay then, see you down you there. You betcha! I'm not seeing anything. Are you sure we've got the right place? Everything we have points to here and now, Mike. Hold on. I've got a signal. It's on the move. About 500 meters west of your current position. What the hell's it doing over there? They must have moved the Mina? Mina! Portable radio channel. Very useful. Points for considering camouflage, Agent Thornton. But try something that blends in with the civilians more than the surroundings. How do you know who I am? You've made quite the impression in the intelligence community with your past exploits. Perhaps you don't hide quite as well as you think. Omen Dang, I think you and I have business to sell. Agreed. But it would be on my agenda. I have things to take care of. Tasks I cannot allow you to interrupt. There is a maintenance door over there. Go inside. Whatever you say. You're the guy in charge here, Dan. I'm glad you see reason in this. So, what now? I'm not going to kill you. Eventually your body will be found and will spark a police investigation. That is attention I would prefer not to draw. You'll be staying put right here. Hey! What? He's here! You said this location was safe. Kill him! Ain't it a lie? I may die. So will you. Think you can dodge a train? Damn. Time to turn back. surface streets for a while. Okay, I've got the disc. Let's see what Omen Dang knows. I'm patching you into my system so you can see what I'm seeing. Careful, Mike. Dang doesn't strike me as a guy who leaves mission-critical data on an unsecured drive. And I strike you as the kind of guy who wouldn't think of that on his own? Is that what you're saying? Well, you do tend to rush into things, mister. Maybe you'd rather be Omen's handler, then. Mike Thornton. Are you jealous? Of the wannabe Dracula? Please. Any luck yet? Just bits and pieces. I'm seeing file headers for something about the assassination attempt, and there's something here about riots at Sung's rally. Are the two related? I'd say it seems likely, but I can't tell yet. Maybe the riots are to cover an escape. That's risking a lot of people's lives for an escape plan. Yeah, well, Dang doesn't strike me as the worried about collateral damage type. Damn it. What is it? Must have missed a security protocol. It's formatting the disk. I can't shut it down. How much have you decrypted? Not much. I'm trying to slow the format by running empty processes. It might buy me some time. I'm running out of time. The disk will be wiped before these files finish decrypting. Can you at least salvage one of the files? I think I can get one of them, but there's not enough time to copy both. It's your call, Mike. But you better make it fast. Sun is the primary objective. If he dies, the entire region is destabilized. I'm downloading the assassination files now. Got it. That's it. I'm 
whatever else was on that disc is gone. At least we got some of it. Yeah, I just hope we made the right call. And so we come to the events in Taipei, Agent Thornton. Yeah, Taipei. I understand you spoke with Stephen Heck upon arriving. That was a wise decision. The man can be... territorial. You left out bad shit crazy. Even so... It was Heck who provided you with information about the conference at the Grand Hotel, wasn't it? Do you even need to ask? Not especially. You were very discreet in your operation there. Still worried about civilian casualties? Just didn't see any in my way. So you say, but judging by your record, I think that's an empty bluff. Heck wasn't the only dangerous contact you made in Taipei, was he? You're talking about Hong sure. Making deals with triad bosses isn't the best way to guarantee a long and healthy life. I think I can handle a few guys in bad tracksuits. Nevertheless, your one-man crusade in the slums kicked the Taiwanese security forces into high gear. You may have done more harm to Hong Shi's organization than you realize. And then you met the mysterious Omen Deng. Who? Oh, right, Cape Guy. Don't bother playing coy, Agent Thornton. I know all about Deng's role in the assassination. You mean... We'll get to that later. Faced with the choice of which information to save, you chose... I chose the information that would save some. Why? Seem like less work? Don't be glib, Thornton. I made the best choice I could, given the options. But it didn't turn out that way. Did it? You must be Agent Thornton. I understand you have some important information for me. Yes, sir. I've learned about a plot to kill you during the rally this week, and to use your death to spark a massive riot and destabilize Taiwan. This is a troubling development, Agent Thornton. If it is true... You think I'm making it up? Let us just say I would like to hear the whole story before I make any decisions. A man with my political views lives with threats every day. If you can present me with compelling evidence of this plot, I will take action. The evidence I acquired was partially destroyed. Without proof, I'm afraid there's little I can do, Agent Thornton. What evidence do you have? I have proof of the plan to assassinate you. That's all. Then the riots are merely your conjecture? No, sir, Mr. President. Both threats are genuine. Please, for your safety, cancel your appearance at the rally. Canceling the rally at this juncture would do considerable harm to my cause. I'm afraid it is out of the question. Then at least take extra precautions. Wear body armor during your speech. Post extra security something. Give me your evidence, Agent Thornton. If my security chief concurs that the threat is credible, I'm sure he will insist on my wearing a vest during the speech. But the if riot... I have security silenced dissenters in the crowd, I look like a petty dictator. I am sorry. But without hard evidence, I will not send that message to my people. Here it is. Please, be careful, Mr. President. Thank you for your concern, Agent Thornton. I will not forget your service here. How'd it go? Oh, it could have been better. He didn't listen? I gave him the evidence on the assassination plot, but without proof of the riot phase of the plan, he refused to place extra security in the crowd. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to crash the rally, take down the assassin, and defuse the riots before any shots are fired. Piece of cake. Right. Piece of cake. Mike, how did it go with Sung? Not as well as I'd hoped. Did he believe you? He believed the assassination plot, but refused to take precautions against the riots. So, he didn't believe you? No. You tried, Mike. And helping you out? Well, you certainly keep things interesting. So, you didn't mind the risk? Are you kidding? The worst part was trying to stay interested when a Halbeck executive is talking to you. Let me tell you about Westridge sometime. Are you planning to stay in Taipei, then? Now I am. That is, if you think I can help, Mike. 
I don't know what I can do, but... You've been a big help so far. Couldn't have gotten to Sung without your help. You're right. But I was glad to pitch in. I'll try to gather what I can from my contacts, Mike. Until then... If I need any more help, I'll let you know. Thanks for everything, Scarlet. Good luck, Mike. And good luck with Sung. Looks like Dang's men already made it here. How's that satellite uplink mean? Working. And you're right. Satellite imaging shows Chinese secret police all throughout the parks. We're a little late. Steven, what's it looking like near the stage? It's a madhouse over here. But not in that fun, violent way. This should be interesting. I hope our friends actually show up on time. Could use the help. You better hurry, Mike. Sung's giving a speech in less than an hour. I've got a visual on Dang. Hey, we're not done yet. I've read the files on you and Sung. Why would you try to kill me? I might not have been able to stop you, but my people will make you pay for killing Sung. You're a double agent? How long? All my life. I won't cry then. That is, consider it for a hired killer. What are you talking about? I'm not here to kill anybody. My sources were clear. Michael Thornton has come to Taipei to assassinate President Sun. Funny, my sources made it pretty clear you were here to kill him. Then your sources are mistaken. If you're not the assassin... Oh, shit. No. Damn it! I don't see anybody. I tried to warn him. I sent him everything I had in the assassination attempt. Mike, emergency frequencies are reporting riots breaking out. And they're getting ugly. Additional security forces are en route. Copy that. Omen, we've got trouble coming in fast. I'm guessing you want to get to the bottom of this as much as I do. Yes. Then let's move out. We're clear. Mina, I'm patching Dang into our connection. Can you give us an update? Reports are still sketchy, but the news is saying Sung survived the attempt. He was wearing a bulletproof vest thanks to a tip from an anonymous source. He survived? I'm glad the information I passed to him did some good, at least. Tragedy was averted today when an assassination attempt on Taiwanese President Ronald Sung proved unsuccessful. Government spokesmen say the president was warned about the attempt earlier this week by an anonymous source, which convinced him to wear a bulletproof vest during his speech. The president was taken to Taipei City Hospital, where he is reported to be in stable condition. News of the president's survival was not enough to quell riots that broke out shortly after the attack. Police say instigators within the crowd convinced spectators that the attack was part of a Chinese plot, which sparked the riot that has so far killed 23 people. Heck, calling Thornton. Come in, Thornton. Yeah, Heck, I'm here. Just a heads up, Mike. There's some folks out there that really hate you, pal. Tell me something I don't know. So this VCI comes to me and he says to me, Steve, I got a proposition for you. I always figured VCI as the offer you can't refuse types. So after I pop three of his fingers off for calling me Steve, I say, and what proposition might that be, my good man? Heck. This guy says to me, oh God, please don't kill me. I just came here to offer you five million dollars to give Michael Thornton up as Ronald Sung's assassin. Tell me you didn't. Not gonna lie, buddy. I was really tempted for a minute there. But I kinda like you, so I told him to piss off. Then I set him on fire to make sure he got the point. <laughs> Shouldn't you have stabbed him to make sure he got the point? I figured his cronies would probably try and find somebody less scrupulous than myself. So I went ahead and called the news stations. Should keep them off your back for a while. I appreciate that. Hey, no problem, buddy. I wanna lay low for a while, but I'll be in touch. Be seeing you, Mike searching for a man called Wen Shu in connection with the attack. Government sources have told INN that Wen Shu is a Taiwanese national with no previous criminal record. The nature of his involvement remains to be seen. That should buy me a little time to get out of Taipei. 
Better get moving. And so this is the result of your efforts in Taipei. Chaos in the streets, an assassination attempt against the president of Taiwan. Well done. The president survived, the riots are dying down. I think I did okay. Hardly. The fact that Sung survived doesn't change the fact that someone tried to kill him. That will cause panic and increase tension as surely as if the shot had been fatal. I admit, the lack of an identified assassin might slow things down, but the people already believe the assassin was a Chinese agent. Omen Deng's escape won't stop the push for independence from growing stronger. You managed to escape Taipei undetected, largely because of an anonymous tip identifying a man called Wen Shu as the attempted assassin. Stephen Heck's work, I trust? He may be a little bit crazy, but he came through. You have a knack for engendering trust. A useful skill for an intelligence agent. Must be my winning personality. That's all you cared about, then? Destabilizing Taipei? You should pay more attention to global politics, Agent Thornton. If Taipei pushes for independence, the People's Republic will prepare for war. If China prepares for war, so does the U.S. And we rename egg rolls Freedom Rolls. Something like that. Mike. Is it odd, seeing me in person? I could ask the same thing. It's not odd for me. Well, not after everything we've gone through. And what have we gone through, exactly? I came here because we're out of time. Taipei, Rome, Moscow. As far as the agency is concerned, they've been resolved to Halbeck's satisfaction. Perhaps not ideally, but Halbeck's projections are optimistic. So they don't even know they're starting a war? Not yet. First, they'll delete Alpha Protocol and erase everything associated with it. And that means you. Hey, they haven't done a great job so far, so don't worry about me. I am worried about you. I can't shut it off. For them, it's a lot more simple. If Alpha Protocol is erased, then you're erased. Whatever life you had will be gone. You'll be rogue forever. Until someone finds you and kills you. And I can't let that happen to you. Then I say we bring them down before they get the chance. They don't know about you, Mina. And they certainly don't know me. It's more No, it is that simple. Trust me. And if they've got Halbeck on their side, then they're doubly screwed. Mina, we're going to get through this. Mike. I mean it. Mike, I can't. You don't know what's going to happen. Neither do you. Mike, about Madison in Rome, I... That's behind me. any of this to happen. I'm glad it did. It exposed a problem that should have been fixed a long time ago. Halbeck? And Alpha Protocol. Suppose you already have a plan. Save the day? Somehow. But first I have to get back to the facility. Then take out the folks that trained me, along with any Marines, agents, or any other Halbeck thugs they've got with them. Get evidence on an international conspiracy and prevent World War III. So I guess I better get started. We better get started. No, you need to get to safety. I don't want you getting hurt. And I'd be surprised if Westridge and Parker haven't already figured out someone's been feeding me information. If so, your life is in danger. I want to help. I can return to Alpha Protocol. I can still help you from the inside. I can't just throw you to the wolves. I don't want you going back there. Chances are they know about you. And if so... All right. There's another safe house I can hide out in until this blows over. But this could be the last time we see each other. 
Don't count on it. I'm not letting you off the hook that easy. What are you going to do? Call in a few favors. If Alpha Protocol thinks it's the only one with an army, they're in for a shock.